first of all, it's our biggest senior class I think I've had in 10 years. So the other classes are not big. This, so this is a big senior class, and then we're actually the other three classes are pretty stinking small. So um, so their expectations are high, obviously. We lost a lot last year, though, um, up front on both sides of football. So we have all our skill back except uh, we lost Rylan Angeloff. He was our only skill guy that we lost. Everybody else is back. So skill-wise, we're, we're pretty comfortable where we're at, and we just have some holes we want to fill up. Um, some kids stepped up today. We had a kid that we thought was a JV player. He actually played really well when we were repping him varsity reps today. He's a really undersized uh, defense lineman. His brother, Asim, was our linebacker last year for us. That was a stud that we lost. Um, but Sadiq played really well. Yeah, because you losing Rosie and those guys on defense oh, yeah. a lot to yes. replace. Have, you been chal- have those guys been getting challenged pretty much to, to really step up? Yeah, mm-hmm. most definitely. I mean, like I said, we, we've only had 47 at practice, freshmen through seniors. So our numbers are really stinking low. Um, but I tell our kids, man, we've always we've always been pretty low compared to these other schools. I mean, these guys rolled in with 80, 90 kids. I said, we, we, we always are thin. At, you know, but what we do is we, we come, we, we're physical, um, and we play good barbering football. Our quarterback's pretty good, you know. We got a lot of good receivers, so, you know, we do our thing out here. We got a lot of young guys, too, coming in that are really good, so. We got, got a good leadership on our receiver court. What's motivating you guys going into this season? Last year, playoffs, we played Hoven. We thought we could win it. It was it was a really good game too, and we was like, we just got to come back next year. We got a lot of seniors. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of big senior group. We was like, that just really motivated us. So I feel like last year, like that was a learning experience, and this year, like that's our that's our goal to win the league. It's always been, but like that's a big thing for us as our group. It's so big. Like if we don't get away with that suburban league, then. I feel like we'll all be upset. You were removed from a Suburban League title. Mm-hmm. What's it going to take for you guys to get back to that point and where you want to go further in the postseason as well? Practice. Like, we got to get practice, work hard, and we're going to see this year, see if we can do good. You know, Zay was outstanding today. Outstanding today. Um, you know, last year I looked at him and I did not think that he met up to his potential. Um, he's had a great, he's had a great camp this, this summer. Um, he's been one of, well, he's been probably the best leader on our team this year. Um, and he proved it out here. He's almost gotten every rep. He doesn't want anybody taking any reps at practice. We got to boot him out, of, you know, boot him out of practice just to get other guys some reps. But, uh, you know, when you got DeWan Owens behind him and we got a freshman, Emmanuel Jefferson, that's, that's really, really good. Um, so we can get him off the field. He's, he's, Zay's not going to come off the field very much. I feel like when we run the ball and them guys come up, them linebackers start shifting up, they start blitzing us. I mean, I know personally I got to get the ball quicker. That was a struggle today. But once they bring those guys up, we got guys that if they run in the middle of the field, they can break loose. Like if I throw Kenny over the middle, there's a safety or a DB that that's the only guy he's got to break. And I trust our guys out there. They can get a block, you know, get be able to score off those plays.